Welcome to Your Two Cents, where we tell you our opinion, then ask for yours. It's come to light that Motorola is working on developing a modular cell phone. That is, every component in it will be removable and replaceable. If you want to upgrade your CPU, pop out the old one and clip in a new one. Uh, same goes for every component in the phone. Uh, it'll be an efficient way to reduce the amount of phones heading to the landfills each year, but my question is this, who's the target market? Are you guys interested in a phone that would you'd be able to upgrade like that? I would definitely be interested, and I think it's 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 a great idea. It's a great concept, especially nowadays where you know you feel like you have to upgrade your phone every six months or so. You know, if it's starting to lag, slap on a new processor. If you break the screen, you know, add a new screen to it. So in that sense, it's awesome for the consumer. My only hesitation is. What will the phone look like? <laughs> you know, <laughs> my my biggest concern about this device is I'm worried about further fragmentation of the Android OS ecosystem. I mean, as it is, you can only get the latest OS on the newest phones, and even that's a slow process for the new OS to come to the new device. What happens when you have to start telling people, well, this new Android OS requires you to have a quad-core processor or four gigabytes of RAM, and they're going to look at their phone and be like, well, what do I have in here, and I have to upgrade this to get that? You know, I, I think that's, that's a big stumbling block that they might have to work past, though that's exactly the kind of thing that happens with PCs, right? Sure. And it's exactly the kind of thing that drives people to go to a Mac because they have one choice, right? So this kind of phone could be great for, like, the gearheads who really want to, like, tinker with their phone, but terrible for those people who might just want a phone that works, right? I think this is brilliant because if I could have a phone that I could upgrade on my own and not be forced into some of the other auxiliary upgrades that come with it, Right. I'm I'm totally for it. Like if I could just if I could upgrade the processor and if I could upgrade the camera, if I could upgrade right. the 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 battery even. Like this is this is the part that I'm really most excited about is the fact that uh that this phone not only is awesome, but it could be totally tailored to whatever I needed it to be in the moment. Right. Like say if I was going to take a long trip mm -hmm. and knew that I'd be out in the field for you know eight or nine hours or two days, and if I forget my charger, I just slap on a bigger battery, right, and yeah, then right. I've got that covered. I, I also like that it's an open source platform, so essentially any maker out there could come up with a module to attach to your phone. So if someone out there has, a, has an idea of how to make a battery better or a camera better, right. they can just release that module. They don't have to build a whole phone to get their camera into, they right. just release the module, you buy it and slide it in. So it, it, it's nice that you can, you'd can you be able to pick and choose. And one thing we haven't mentioned is the fact that, do you guys remember when Apple went from like the iPhone 3G to the iPhone 4, when the screen got bigger? Developers right. had to essentially uh, redo all the apps so that they would work with the iPhone's bigger screen. So what happens now with this phone, with like, let's say you have some OEM or some manufacturer come out with like a new display, like a quad display or something like that, you put the display on your new phone and then you realize that the apps look horrific on it or that they just don't work with the new display. You know, I think that's one, um, that's, there's potential there for a lot of trouble with this yeah. phone. Yeah, like, is would you be able to get a subsidized phone that has a bunch of components in it and then how much would components be to upgrade or are, you know, since this is kind of a more geeky way of doing it, would it be aimed at those people that pay full price for the phone and then everything they add to it is full price as well? So, oh, you know, our, yeah. our cell phone company is going to want to work with this because as it stands now, cell phone companies get you to rebuy a phone every two years because it right. is old and junky and you want to buy the new next hottest thing. That's how they make money. So right. they right. object to this. And then you have the mobile carriers as well. Because right. Verizon, right. if you're not buying a new phone from Verizon, they're going to be like, hey, why would why you want to let them buy this phone where they're right. upgrading piece by piece, as opposed to like you know doing one of our upgrade any time plans right. or whatever? And if this is a true open platform, that you don't even need to buy the components through Verizon. So once you buy a Verizon phone, that could be the last phone money you ever give to give Verizon, them, right. and they're they won't like, like that. that very much. You no, know, not like, at all. Uh, well, uh, viewers, that's our two cents. What's yours? Uh, would you like a phone like this? Would you like to tinker around with it, or do you like having one thing that works perfectly? That makes it seem like I waited that question a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> so I did not mean to. <laughs> 
<laughs> leave your comments in the comment section below. For DealNews.com, I'm Jeff Sumaji with Luis Ramirez and Dan Ledbetter. Goodbye. <laughs>